the new update just arrived in the original server and it shook up everything. I know you are having a hard time understanding which hero to pick and which hero you shouldn't pick. Don't worry, Papa Gazook is here to help you out and let you in on all the OP heroes and items in the meta right now. So you can play them before the nerf. Hi guys, Gazook here and in this video, we are going to see all the OP heroes and items according to the new items and changes. By the way, if you want to know about every item on the list, you can check out this video as we have already gone in depth. Okay. In this video, we are going to be seeing all the heroes were overpowered with the new items. So you can abuse them with the new items. Nice. First on the list is Sky Piercer. Sky Piercer is this crazy new item that has for sure shifted the previous Sustair and Tanky meta. With this new item, there is nobody that can run away with 1 HP or sustain with low HP. All you have to do is just pair your skills in such a way that you have just ignored the last 6 to 12% of their HP based on the number of stakes you have, which is just insane. Now let's check out the heroes who are good with Sky Piercer. Okay. First, we have Aman. Aman is one of the few heroes who is excellent with the Sky Piercer as you can get your early snowballing rolling if you just target the weaklings in the team. All these squishies have no escape with their ultimate and you can easily get their HP low enough to trigger its passive. Sky Piercer is such an amazing item for all the finishers. Next we have Julian. Julian is broken, he is super broken for sure, he has so much damage and he has so much burst, it is almost impossible to win against a good Julian. No matter what you do against them, if can use his combos in a right way and just look at his 3 to one and 2 3 one combos damage. And his jungle clear is so fast, so goddamn fast thanks to his enhanced basic attack and you can just kill Squishy with just his enhanced basic attack, lol. Another hero who is great with Sky Piercer is Saber Roam. You see, before whenever you did Saber Roam, people just run away with little HP in the early game. Because getting items as a roam is a bit difficult. But don't worry, Sky Piercer is here to solve that problem. This item is so goddamn cheap, just 1500 gold and it's like killing two birds with one stone. You get that much needed damage for a cheap price. The Assassin Rome meta is back and other heroes like Natalia and Helcut are also super OP with Sky Piercer. I just feel sorry for all the mages and gold laners early game, whenever there is an Assassin Rome picked. Let's check out the other hero who everyone should be really really scared of with Sky Piercer, Fanny. I don't think I shouldn't explain that much about her because you know she is Fanny. And you know she can is always OP, no matter the meta. And give her an item that is made for killing and will kill everything on her way. Super OP. Do you know what's better than infinite true damage? Well, it's even more true damage. So let's talk about Karina with Sky Piercer. Karina with Sky Piercer is truly a savage farm as she can get to the 12% HP in seconds. She was already a great finisher, now she is even more great. And finally, I want to talk about Marksman, who everyone should pay a little bit more attention to. It's Lazily and she is back baby. She now is super scary, super scary. She hits like a truck, not just any truck, it's a truck that sends you straight to any Sakai. There are so many more heroes that you can pair with Sky Piercer as it's such a flexible item. I have seen people use it with Nana, lol. Although I can't give you all the heroes, here are a few heroes that I think are best with Sky Piercer. Granger, Gushan, Nolan, Lancelot, Benedetta, Ling, Hayabusa, Roger, Vices and more. Now time to move on to our next item, Wishing Lantern. I guess Moontoon has tanks now. So we have another item that deals HP based damage and it's amazing. 
It's such a good item that I'm starting to feel like whenever there is something new released, Wontoon just makes them OP. But Wishing Lantern is a bit balanced in some places, but it still is powerful whenever you use it against tanks. Next up is Silvana. Silvana already excels at locking down opponents with her ultimate with Wishing Lantern. She can deal even more sustained damage. Her abilities benefit greatly from the HP-based damage, allowing her to be a significant threat to tanky heroes. If you get a proper combo and land your second skill, she will melt everyone in the game. Moving on to Giniver. Giniver's combo potential is enhanced with Wishing Lantern. The HP-based damage fits perfectly with her skill set, making her more dangerous in team fights. Her ability to disrupt and damage tanks is significantly improved. She already could take down semi tank with one combo, but now she can take down even tanks with. Let's talk about Changi. Changi's consistent damage over time works beautifully with Wishing Lantern. Her ultimate can now deal substantial damage to high HP targets, making her even more effective in battles against tanky opponents. True damage is just something else. It can do too much damage for too little. Lastly, we have Julian. Julian's versatile skill set gains an extra edge with Wishing Lantern. Whether he is going against a tank or an MM, he's super OP. Just spam him. The Wishing Lantern is shaping up to be the game changer for these heroes. Make sure to try it out and see how it can enhance your gameplay. Now let's move on to Malefic Gun. The Malefic Gun is another item that is here to enhance your basic attack range and give you more crit chance. This item is not really that OP compared to Sky Piercer, but overall it is still super good when you compare it with other critical items. So the first hero I would like to talk about would be Irithel. I don't see Irithel being used that often right now, but Irithel is such a good hero right now. It was already a death sentence to chase Irithel, but now she has so much range that you will die a kilometer away just trying to chase her. And a crit item for Irithel is always good. Another hero who is going to be back in the meta soon will be Bruno. He already hit Slyke Truck in the late game, and now he has added range for his first skill on the top of this, which just will make him amazing. It has been a long time since we last saw this guy in the meta, but he is going to be back. We are seeing a new cycle of different marksmen coming back. Next up is Leela. Leila's basic attack have always been her strength and with Malefic Gun, her range and crit chance are even better. This makes her an even bigger threat from a distance, allowing her to poke down enemies safely while dealing massive damage. Let's not forget about Wan Wan. Wan Wan's mobility and attack speed make her a formidable marksman. The added range and crit chance from Malefic Gun amplify her strength making her a significant threat in any game. Her ability to dart around and deal consistent damage makes her perfect for this item. Lastly, we have Kerry. Kerry's true damage output is already a nightmare for tanks, and with this Malefic Gun, she gains even more range and crit potential. This makes her an even more dangerous marksman, capable of shredding through enemies quickly. First, let's start with Fleeting Time. This is really a dream come true for so many non-mage players with high ultimate CDs. Let's start this off with Franco. Since the addition of this new adaptive attack and hybrid defense feature, the meta has been good. Now flitting time is here to make the lives of all the people who have high CDs easy. People already built flitting time on Franco, but now it's even better as you can use the benefit it gives you to the fullest extent. Next up is Tigril. Tigril's ultimate is crucial for initiating team fights. With fleeting time, he can use his ultimate more often, allowing for more frequent and impactful initiations. This makes Tigril even more valuable in team compositions, providing constant crowd control and disruption to the enemy's team. Now let's talk about Akai. Akai's ultimate can turn the tide of battle with its crowd control and displacement. Fleeting time reduces the cooldown, enabling Akai to use his ultimate more frequently. This allows him to disrupt enemy formations and protect his team more effectively, 
Finally, we have Saber. Saber's ultimate is a key part of his burst damage combo. With fleeting time, he can use his ultimate more often, making him a constant threat to squishy targets. The reduced cooldown ensures Saber can consistently take down priority targets, giving his team a significant advantage. Now let's talk about the revamped Vorex and Queen's Wing. Yeah, there's still some hope for sustain heroes and those two new items are just amazing. Although there is no additional spell vamp on Vorex passive, it still has a 12% built-in spell vamp and the new Queen's Wing are just amazing. The cooldown reduction, the damage reduction, the damage increase, it's just too good now. The first hero who is really good with these items are Yuzong. Looks like this lizard is not going to leave the meta anytime soon. And he is so good with all the new items. It's just so hard for you to kill him. The removal of the Bloodlust X killed heroes like Ruby, but my guy never needed it. Lol. He's just too good and the new items are a great fit for him. Next up is Alpha. Alpha's sustain and damage output benefit greatly from the revamped Warx and Queen's Wing. The spell vam from Vorex helps him stay in fights longer, while Queen's Wing provides the necessary cooldown and damage reduction to keep him in the fray. These items make Alpha a formidable duelist and a threat in extended engagements. Now let's talk about Khalid. Khalid's ability to sustain in fights is enhanced with these items. The spell vam from Vorex helps him heal from his abilities, while Queen's Wing provides additional durability and damage reduction allowing him to dive into enemy's team and wreak havoc. These items make Khalid even more resilient and dangerous. Moving on to Tarizla. Tarizla's high damage output and sustained benefit from the revamped items. Vorex's spell vam gives him extra healing during team fights and Quinn's wing enhances his durability. Vorex's spell vam gives him extra healing during fights and Quinn's wing enhances his durability, making him a tough opponent to deal with. With these items, Tarizla can stay in fights longer and deal significant damage. Lastly, we have Arlot. Arlot's kit synergizes well with the new Warx and Queen's Wing. The spell vamp from Warx helps him sustain during battles, while Queen's Wing provides the necessary cooldown reduction and damage reduction, allowing him to be a consistent threat. These items make Arlot a stronger contender in sustained fights. Now let's talk about the all new Winter Crown. Winter Dungeon was very beloved for all the mages and some assassins. And Adaptive Attack are here again to clutch everything up and help out everyone. And it truly is a crown to wear now because now it won't be stopping everyone's ultimate. So heroes who have long annoying ultimate or skills that can easily be stopped will not be stopped making it so that it is impossible to stop. Next up is Claude. Claude's ultimate can deal a lot of damage over time, but it often got interrupted. With Winter Crown, Claude can now use his ultimate more effectively without the worry of being stopped mid-animation. This makes him a stronger marksman capable of dealing consistent damage during fights. Now let's talk about Tigril. Tigril's ultimate is crucial for crowd control and initiating team fights. However, it was often interrupted, reducing his effectiveness. With Winter Crown, Tigril can now use his ultimate without interruptions, ensuring he can control the battlefield and provide the necessary crowd control for his team. There are so many more heroes who can use it to its full extent. There are the heroes Silvana, Geniver, Joy, Changik, God. And for the item changes like Cloak of Destiny and Glowing Wand, guys, just use it on the old heroes you were using it with. They just got better. So guys, what do you think? Will you be using these heroes? Do you think these items are broken? Comment down all your thoughts below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.